This shit got so fucking crazy that it made, it put 2CE to shame, put 2CI to shame. Only thing crazier was my near-death experience on 25i. But, um, it starts off with, first thing that happens is we're walking down the road to get back to the house. So we had gone pretty far off somewhere. And I remember not being able to tell that we were moving at all. It seemed like we were in the same spot on the road. So I keep walking. We keep walking for like 10 minutes, but it feels like we're next. We've been by the same sign the whole time. So can you imagine walking for half an hour, but not feeling like you had gone anywhere? Like we were on a treadmill out in the dark. Like I just felt like I was walking on some treadmill for 20 minutes in the dark. Okay, next part. Next thing that gets weird is I couldn't talk. For the first time, I was trying to talk to him, and my whole language, syntactical mechanisms in my head just fucking failed on me. Like, I couldn't string together real sentences that made any sense to anyone. I could just say words, and I was like, uh, trying to talk. And I knew what I wanted to say in my head, but it wouldn't come out in real words. I couldn't convey a message to him at all. So we were just walking. I'm tripping so hard that I'm seeing the branches come up this is something that always happens to me in the dark is when there's plants around it looks like they're 3d like to my face like it looks like they're in front of me and I gotta like push them out of the way or something because that's fucking how big the visuals were coming up at me I remember seeing like what felt like cats running in front of me like little spirit cats running in front of me and shit like little shadowy figures passing me and shit so anyways we're getting closer to the house because my grandparents had just called my cousin and said we needed to come back and I was like, oh shit, like I'm gonna have to talk to my grandparents and shit. And he was like, let me do all the talking and stuff. Cause I couldn't talk at all. So we're, I remember approaching the house feeling like I was in some scene in a movie, like here it comes. Like I'm gonna have to keep my shit together. The suspense was killer. So we got to the downstairs, opened the door and shit changed when I got inside. Like when my grandma was down there and I had to act normal. I just kept it together, just walked in and say a lot. And I just remember him doing the talking. I don't even remember what they were talking about. And then she left after making a bed for us and they went upstairs to go to bed. Shit got so fucking crazy when we were in the house because by then I was fully in the trip. We had only walked for 45 minutes. So by now I was starting to peek in the trip and shit got crazy on that couch. I was laying on the couch like this one and I had my hands like down in here and when I put my hand in something like this, it straight felt like that shit went off into infinity. Like I could feel my legs and my arms being pulled off into the abyss. Like I felt like I was being ripped apart. Like I felt it for sure. Like I was being pulled off into infinity. Next thing, these the roof, the edges of the roof that I was looking at, those also were going way off into infinity. Like, this corner would be over here somewhere really far away. So it's like the roof wasn't connecting to the wall. The whole room was being pulled off into infinity. And I started feeling like everything came to a close. Like, I had found the, inf the fucking eschaton or whatever. I felt like I was a chair in a room for like 20 minutes. I thought I was a chair. I didn't know I was me. I had complete ego death and I was just chairs and cabinets and random shit. I was just everything. Like I remember I kept saying shit like I'm here. Like I'm at the I'm at the place. I'm here. I'm I'm at, I felt like I was at the godhead for the first time. Like I was just seeing fucking the dimensions of everything being broke down mathematically in front of me and shit seeing spirit cats running down in the basement. I spent a good three hours just glued to that couch thinking I was floating off in infinity. Little did I know my cousin was trying to talk to me the whole time. I didn't forgot he was there pretty much. I, he told me I was saying nonsense and, nonsense and shit. I remember telling him how I thought I was the element of water or something weird like that. But yeah, I had one of those serious ego deaths where you become space. Like I was straight space cabinets and chairs and shit. I could feel my body was a chair. Like, I'd never be able to describe to you how that shit felt. It'd be like, try to imagine what it would feel like to be a dog for a few minutes, like, not have a language to draw from. I felt like I was a dog or an animal or something. I had no, like, concept of what the English language was at all. So that happened. I remember my cousin said I was saying some pretty crazy shit, like going up to the top of a hill and shooting someone or hanging myself or some crazy shit like that. And uh, I wouldn't doubt that I was saying shit like that. He thought I was gonna kill him that night. He was scared, even though I probably couldn't. He's a lot bigger than me. 
he thought I was gonna kill him. He was like, I, because he was tripping too. And he was like, this, he hadn't seen someone trip that hard in years. And he, at first, even though he was scared and shit, later he said like, that was cool. Like, cause he remembers what it was like to be on that level. But I was on that level. I was just screaming out random shit. Literally like just glued to a couch, not able to walk. Finally, as the trip started to come down, I remember seeing these visions and feeling that this voice inside me telling me that all I wanted to do in life was do good, like do good for people, like be a good person. I could feel my inner voice saying that like, I'm a good person, like on the inside. And I could see like my soul teacher animal at the top of this hill, like I kept seeing this hill, like that was my life or something and this, my soul teacher animal was up there. But yeah, a lot of psychedelic vision type shit like that. The TV's colors would change and shit, and the TV would wave and like everything breathing and waving like what you usually expect. Shit was so cool on shrooms. When you walk towards a wall, it would get farther away from you. Like this shit would just keep going away. And I'd be like, holy shit, like I'm in a huge ass room right now. Like obviously you're not seeing that, but you could probably relate. I'll be walking towards something and it would just get farther and farther and farther away the closer I try to walk to it. So shit like that would happen. Yeah, I mean, that night, that basement turned into a spaceship to go to fucking space, like for me. Like that couch tore me into an infinite abyss, into a pool of psychedelic knowledge or something like that. It was one of those trips. And uh, coming out of it, I had a big headache. Like the next day, I had a headache for the next half of the day, but that went away. That trip was another extremely profound moment in my life. I was seeing my spirit animal. I was seeing shit go into infinity, which I'd never seen. I'd never experienced what it actually felt like to be infinite. Like I could feel it like going off into inf infinite, infinitesimally long, whatever. Fucking shit was real. Shit got real that night. Two and a half eights, huge body load. Didn't actually throw up, but yeah. That's that's gotta be a heroic dose. Eight grams or some shit. That's that's more than what Terrence McKenna takes and shit. This this is my room by the way. So yeah, two and a half fucking eights. I went there. Oh, I can't think of anything else that I left out of that trip report. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy tripping.